This was a sign of broader tensions to come. The date, July 2013. The place, Dana, a village close to Syria's border with Turkey. Al-Qaeda-linked fighters wanted to show us that they were in control after pushing what they called corrupt Free Syria Army rebels out. Fast forward about two months later. The Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant did the same in the border town of Azaz. In a statement, they justified the takeover by calling the FSA Northern Storm Brigade Western spies, accusing them of being traitors because they are pushing for a democratic state. The move was condemned by the main political opposition in exile, the Syrian National Coalition. It accused foreign fighters of violating the principles of the revolution by turning their guns on FSA rebels. It said the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant is no longer fighting the Syrian regime, but instead strengthening its positions in liberated areas. It was a rare condemnation, but the rebel fighting forces on the ground didn't adopt the same stance. Instead, they denounced the coalition as a foreign-based group that doesn't represent them. These groups include powerful forces like Liwa al-Tawhid, as well as other brigades linked both to the Free Syrian Army and the Islamic Front and Syria's al-Qaeda branch Nusra, a front the U.S. designated a terrorist organization through its weight behind that position. The national coalition and the proposed transitional government under Ahmad Tomei does not represent us, nor do we recognize it. These forces call on all military and civilian groups to unite in a clear Islamic context that is based on Sharia law. The national coalition's influence on the ground was always questionable, but now it doesn't seem to have any sway over the fractured armed opposition. Efforts by the head of the SNC, Ahmad Jarba, to restructure opposition forces into a national army were never welcomed by those inside Syria who feel it is a Western project. Ahmad Jarba didn't provide us with anything. His only concern is the chair he sits on. He didn't contribute to the revolution. Of course we want a unified army. It is being discussed by forces on the ground and it will be announced from inside Syria within two months. It is on the front lines where rebel forces are united in their fight against their common enemy, the Syrian regime. But now the most powerful forces have also found common ground. In a rare show of unity, they made clear they will confront outside influences. Zenehudr El-Shazira, Beirut.